Before we get into this video, I want to just take a brief moment to tell you guys I have built my first set of LUTs packs. It's a very small pack, but these are something that I've been working on for quite a while. Uh, these, the first pack I've ever put together, it's uh, for design specifically for the two newest Black Magic cameras, the Pocket 6K and the Pocket 4K as well as the Canon C200. And what these LUTs do is they emulate the look of both of red uh, wide RGB gamma as well as Ari's Log C. So if you're interested in having these LUTs, make sure to follow the link in the video and also check them out. It's really affordable and any, uh, any sort of help that you guys can help contribute to continue building this platform, I greatly appreciate it. But enough of that, on to the video. What is up everybody, James Jackson here, back again with another video. If you're new to my channel, I do tips and tricks to the film and film, <laughs> to the tips and tricks of the film and video making industry. So if you like the content coming here, please make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit that bell so we can stay up to date on all the content going forth. Oh guys, uh, I, I'm very excited to talk about this for you. Those of y'all that saw at the end of the year, I recently purchased the uh, Blackmagic ATEM Mini. It's the video switcher that I have been using for all my vlogs since the purchase of this, and I'm loving every bit of it. It has streamlined my workflow, streamlined my content for everything that I have going into this channel. And today, I sort of wanted to sort of dive in a little more about sort of the things that help it, help make this uh, content so much easier. And one of the things that I want to talk about is something that I, that I don't hear much about, and that is this um, built-in software to a computer called Playdeck. Playdeck is a online content uh, scheduler, content distribution in terms of uh, terms of playback videos, playback graphics, and it's the things that make me help distribute, uh, get my content on a looking a little bit more high quality, a little bit more professional looking. And I don't see a lot of people doing the videos, but the beauty, one of the best things is it, it works so well with the ATEM Mini. So right now, I want to sort of just take some time to really have you guys take a look at this and um, sort of get an idea. So without further ado, let's dive right into this. Now, this looks a little bit weird, so give me a second. I need to move this bad boy over. I don't think I can. Uh, so give me a second. Uh, I need to change some things with this. Uh, let's go to channel two. Let's take that off so you guys can sort of see a little bit of what we're doing here. So if, let me see if I can, can I blow this up? Oh, not that, no. All right, close that. Let's bring this in. All right, so here is the play deck. Um, this is the thing that I have been using um, a lot lately. And one of the things that, uh, what's so great about this is if you see over here is sort of how everything's scheduled. So, like right now I have the, let me turn this off so you don't make sure you don't hear anything by accident. I have my intro of my LUTs things scheduled for this. And then I got the ultra of my video. And then what I do is I sort of schedule them in blocks. Uh, so right now I got the, the ATM mini that you just, that you just saw there. And what's great about it, it, it takes, it can take in any sort of format that you throw at it. You could throw at it ProRes, you can throw at it um, DVX, you could throw H.264, H.265. It can, it, it will ingest all of it. And what's great about it is whatever the resolution and the frame rate you set it to, it will set all of the contents to that resolution. So it lines up perfectly with the A10 Mini, which is outputting 24 frames per second. Um, there may be a little bit jittery with the um, with some of the frame rates simple because the output of the computer is only 60 frames per second. Um, 
even so there's unfortunately there's no way for me to change that if you guys know a way to do it that's that's definitely it but let's say like one of my contents i i can just come in and put in like whatever b-roll footage is so let's say like if i want to just talk about some weddings i can all of a sudden this is a wedding that we did so as you can see here i got a whole new block it's playing the weddings the wedding sort of like a little highlight reel i did for a wedding that i did what's cool about it is i can come in here i can like name it i could say wedding b-roll i could put that in and have that as the block so I can easily schedule and find out so any sort of topic or subject that I go to if I have a list of subjects now I can have the b-roll footages all loaded up and ready to go with this with this um, with this play deck and what's cool about this is that also you can come in you can make sort of adjustments so if you want to say okay I want to I, I want only a very very specific part of the shot so you can come in and cut scrub through whatever ones you want so let's just say yeah this is the, let's say okay this is the in part and the out part and what's cool about it, it will automatically scale everything with this to um the, the ratio that you are doing now if you want to just keep the original no scaling you can do that but i most of the time it's good to keep the automatic so cool and then you just hit okay and it will set the time up. And the other cool thing is like it's when you schedule it in these blocks like this uh, with the A10 Mini, it will automatically go to the next block, but it won't play it until you hit record. So let's say I code here, um, and then uh, I'm gonna have to cut back to this for a second. But watch what happens if you if you have the the um, the A10 Mini uh, connected remotely. So basically, if you have the IP address connected and loaded up, um, it will act. The A10 Mini can activate the playlist. So as you'll see, as we get to cut back right here, you'll notice all of a sudden it starts playing automatically. And what's cool about this is you can also set it to have it. It'll give you the warning here, so you can sort of see uh, just how much the, uh, this time is left. And what you and you can also set it to have it, you know, auto cue after a second. It can auto cue after three seconds, so it will automatically go to the next block. It will automatically cue up the next block. So when you cut back, so when you cut back, so let's say I want to cut back to the full frame here, and then I want to just go to the next block. It will if I had ended it the way it was before, it would automatically go to the next block. So what's really great about this setup is I can sort of keep an eye, keep track. I can I can sort of, you know, plan out sort of my dis, now my discussion videos whenever I'm discussing anything. So if I'm talking about a scene with low light, I can go right into low light with that. If I am talking about you know image qualities or whatever discussion that I'm talking about, if it's a comparison video, a review video of any gear, this is basically allowing me to basically see the schedule and I can sort of line up my discussions with it and the beauty about the a 10 mini with all this content and you can also load up uh, graphics with alpha channels in this as well now um, I haven't figured out how to um, do that for the simple fact is um, last year I basically ended my entire Adobe subscription so Photoshop everything is gone I've I'm just I'm done trying to deal with that subscription uh, that basically I'm not feeling like getting what I was most out of Premiere and Adobe itself so I've left Adobe so now I'm trying to find an alternative to what would have been Photoshop of Illustrator where I could have built these motion graphics in these lower thirds but uh, so I'm looking for that right now if any of you guys know of some good Photoshop alternatives uh, that you may be using it, what if it's free, preferably free if possible, but if not free, definitely still send it my way. If it's still of good quality, uh, send it my way. I'm definitely interested so I can sort of get back into building my motion graphics back up. But I, I, I bring this up again because I want you all to know that I do, I, 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 
that's the see like this is a, such a great thing. The only thing I haven't really figured out is sort of how to make the music play through the entire sec the entire playlist. So that I haven't figured out yet. Um, I'm still looking at so uh, if I there's some things that I've discovered that will make things stream live even better. I will definitely let you guys know about that. But uh, this this is still to me one of like this makes things so much easier because now I can build so many discussions. I can just get B roll of things, all, any sort of B roll I may have. I can just load it up in here. Motion graphics. I can load it up in here. Do all of that, and now I can just and when I'm done, you know, doing my discussion videos straight from the camera, I can take it out, put it in the computer, and s deliver it straight to the internet, which is is something that um, I couldn't necessarily do. And it, 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 editing just took so much time, so doing it this way has basically made like this portion so much, so much, so much easier um, than before. Uh, and so definitely check this out if you're definitely if you have the A to Mini, um, definitely check it out. Um, it it is a subscription. Now I know I talked about Adobe, but this is a subscription. Um, if you uh, let me pull that up over here, so right now if you do the annual, it's based on euro. It is based on the euro, but if you can see here, um, I right now are on the Play Deck Plus, and the reason why because it supports the Alpha channel. So if I do put in motion graphics and things like that, I can do that as well as sort of like graphic and video as a background. So that's the main reason why I got that. But if you don't really need all of that, you just are doing something really, really basic or maybe some, you can go and basically just get the basic one. Now this is, understand, this is the annual subscription. So if you're basically doing 100, so, and it's also in Euro, so if you're doing $132 uh, for the annual fee, now, if you go to the monthly, it's definitely much higher. So if you go to if you go from a month-to-month -month basis, uh, it's definitely much higher. But I personally think this is worth it. It it I personally think it is it's worth it because this is basically what I was paying to do with Premiere, just sitting there. And with this, I basically am it's streamlining and making my content easier to distribute to you guys. Um, so. That's the reason why I'm sort of interested in this uh, channel, uh, in, in this block. And let me actually minimize this real quick and bring this back over so I can fix this up. But hopefully you guys um, enjoyed this little, uh, this little tidbit. Uh, I know I personally did enjoy it. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this is, if you guys have the A10 Mini, you guys definitely uh, were able to, you know, definitely able to get something out of it. Uh, let me know how you guys feel about this. If you want to learn more about some broadcast a AV switching content, um, I'll definitely do more of these, especially with the A10 Mini. But let me know. Leave a like. Leave a comment below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. And until next time, take care, everyone.